Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Alicia, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I clean my filthy makeup brushes. This is really, really easy to do, and you only need a few things. I just have a regular hand towel here. Then I have some antibacterial soap, or you can use a brush cleaner. And then I also have this cool, rigidy kind of rubbery thing. It's actually an oven mitt, a Martha Stewart oven mitt. I know Sigma makes a oven mitt looking brush cleaning tool as well. This is just way more inexpensive. And if you don't have either one of those products, you can just use the palm of your hand. I used the palm of my hand for years. So if you've noticed too that I'm facing the brushes down while I'm rinsing them, and this is beneficial because if water seeps in above where the bristles are, it'll loosen the glue and then all your hairs will start to fall out of your brush. And I like to do this kind of like a little assembly line. I'll get all the brushes wet first and then I'll soap all the brushes up. So I just get a little bit of soap on the little oven mitt and I just wanna create like a soapy mixture where I can swirl all of the brushes into. After that, you can just turn off the water. At this point, you're just soaping all of your brushes up. The eye brushes should only take two to three seconds. And then your foundation brushes or your big powder brushes are gonna take the most effort. You're gonna wanna swirl those probably five seconds at most because you really just want to work that soap into the bristles. So I definitely recommend cleaning your brushes sometime in the evening or before you go to bed so that they can dry thoroughly throughout the night and then in the morning you'll have fresh clean brushes to use. Now I don't wash every single brush every single time. Obviously I'm just washing what I'm using but your brushes that you use for your foundations or anything liquid based you want to clean those more often preferably after each use than the powder brushes because bacteria grows way faster in liquid than it does in powder. And nobody is trying to rub bacteria all over their faces. <laughs> After all your brushes are soaped up again, we're then going to turn on a slow steady stream of lukewarm water. And what we're doing here is we're just rinsing off all of the soap and rinsing off all of the makeup. What you are looking for here is water that runs clear because then you know that all of the makeup is out of the brush. And then once I know that the brush is clean and the bristles are clean, I'm going to just kind of reshape the brush with my hand. And then I'm going to lay it to dry on that towel with the bristles hanging off the edge of the counter. This will allow a steady stream of air to flow through the brush. So I just repeat the step with each one of the brushes, just rinsing them off and then reshaping them. And again, of course, swirling them onto the rubbery mat to make sure that all of the soap and all of the makeup is out of the brush. I also like to make sure that all of the excess water is squeezed out of the brush too, otherwise it'll take a lot longer to dry. And then when all your brushes are rinsed, you can just lay them all out like I have here. And well guys, you just have to utilize the space that you have. So here are all my brushes and they will lay here until they are dry in the morning. So thanks again so much for watching and I hope you guys found this helpful. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks again. Bye guys.